Alright, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Doing some more missions on the island here in Teardown. And you'll see it says I've done this one already. I kind of recorded it, but it didn't turn out that well. So, I'm going to do it again. Just a full disclosure on that part. Um, but we've got an email from Parisa. We have to disable an alarm system. So, hope you've settled in after the long flight. And sorry about the rest of your tools. I just couldn't find a way getting them through security. My contact at the local PD gave me some intel on their alarm system. We need to shut it off in order to access their storage rooms. The alarm system can only be disabled unnoticed if the terminals are hacked within one minute. It's a bit of a run, but I have faith in you. So now our map is split up. We have uh, the Locale Municipality here, and then we've also got the Muratori Islands. And then also, yeah, when I did this, I didn't do all the objectives. What I want to do now is I want to actually get all the objectives. Um, I was trying to fit this mission alongside the mall mission in the last episode. But it turned out the mall mission was just too long to do uh, both in full. And I kind of want to do the missions in full if I can. When I can. Um, but yeah, so the main premise of all of these island missions is... You start with basic tools and you have to find more tools by exploring. And there's also useful utilities like uh, these ladders you can see here. And you can just use those in all sorts of places. And propane, of course. So in this case, to disable the alarm system, we have to get two of the required ones and two of the optional ones. And there's also two, and then there's also two more optional. But here's the thing, right? Once you have the four required ones, the alarms turn off, and you can go back to your boat. And you cannot get more optionals, so you have to save one of the yellow ones for last if you want to get all six. So that's what we'll be doing. And the way that I want to do this is I want to start with this tower. And then go to here, go over to here, which we can actually topple this entire tower here and make it kind of bridge the gap, hopefully. And then, yeah, just kind of keep going through and then get this as the last one. Now, one thing we can do here is we can knock these terminals out because they're attached by an alarm cable that's quite long. Oh. So that way we'll be starting on the ground. And then to make our way here quickly, we'll want to use the uh, the little jeep hidden down there. And then one of our next targets is also up here on the second floor. So if we can find some bombs to maybe blow that wall open, that would help a lot. So, one thing that might be pretty nice would be to set up a ladder going up to, like, this window so we can drive up, run up the ladder, get inside, come back out. So we could use this ladder here for that. Hmm. <laughs> That's so unsturdy. But it works, we can get up. Move some stuff out of the way. Yeah, so that's pretty speedy. Hack this. And then we'll see if we can find some explosives to help us make a hole to get back out quickly. We might even just attach the ladder straight to the hole if we can. I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw a toolbox up here while I was on the map earlier. Okay, that's just cables, but we do have these. And if there's anything in here, we can take those as well. Yeah, more shotgun ammo. Okay, 
Okay, so we do need to aim this pretty well. Alright, and that's a good enough hole for what we need. Alright, so just jump up there, get these server racks out of the way. Well, <laughs> I was worried that was about to break our ladder. But no, I'm really appreciating the uh, limited options to work with here. It makes for a really fun little challenge on these ones. Because you don't, because you know that you can't just do whatever you want and find a way to make it work, which I guess is an oversimplification. You can't really do that um, when you have all your tools, but you can get pretty close. Okay, so. We'll save here and see if we can topple the tower over without breaking that cable. Hmm. Let's try and get over there and see what we can do from up close. What's up higher here? I'm going to save and then see if there's anything uh, in here. Yes, there is. Okay, rocket launcher ammo. So that was a good use of our shotgun shells there. Alright, so this is a good vantage point then. So let's see, we want to kind of aim for this bit first. And then over there. And that's not half bad, to be honest with you. So we'll save that. And then... It's still a little slack, so we can... Adjust that if we want, but I think this will be okay, because we can uh, have a rope... <laughs> we can have a ladder going up to this tree, and then jump from the tree to there, I'm pretty sure. Or I guess we do have this ladder as well. Even if I did just take a bit of a chunk out of it. Let's see if we can wiggle it up into here. Alright, so that worked out pretty well. Let's see. Yeah, so that is a jumping distance. So we'll just keep moving the ladder along. And use that to get onto the tree instead. And this should be pretty good, so... Run on up, jump over, hack the terminal. And yeah, so that means we're all set for this first three. So we start in the tower. Um, well, at the base of the tower, rather. Run through, hop in the jeep. Drive here, climb up, hack the terminal, jump in the jeep. Drive here, climb up, through the jungle. Up the tree, hop over, hack this. And then at this point we need a, another place to go to. Which I think quite naturally would be this place here. So we have to figure out um, the fastest way to get there, basically. Yeah, I guess in this case what might work best is just more ladders. So we kind of need that ladder for that building. But we can do the same thing we do did with the other tower, with uh, this tower. We can take the target, bring it down to the ground, and there will still be enough slack on the uh, alarm wire. And then yeah, since we'll be bringing the target here down, we can use the ladders that the target's with for other things. Ok, 
Okay, please don't break. And yeah, so we'll use this longest one and just kind of... I guess we could even use the tree to help support it with like a cable. But yeah, just shove it over the gap as far as we can. Here we go. There, and that'll help keep it more level. Okay, so that's pretty good right there. We'll just go find more planks so that we can hold it here. And I'm pretty sure I saw some planks. Yeah, right there. There we go, so now this thing's fixed in place, so we can walk all the way out on it. No trouble whatsoever. And then this next ladder, we'll do the same thing, just from the building, so that way we'll jump all the way over to the ladder. That should be pretty good. And then from there, we just want to have a simple structure to climb on to uh, get this dish. Okay, so yeah, if you keep your momentum, you can get up there. So we'll just prepare our final spot. So what we kind of want to do for this one then is we want to hold the ladder in place first of all. So we'll just put two taut ropes. There we go. And then we want to take the plank. And we want to say, hey, go up here, buddy. Like so. And then now that that one's taut, we can take the plank again. And then try and get it to go even higher up. Like so. That might actually work pretty well, so... Up the ladder and along the plank. Yeah, that's good. So we can save that. And one potential improvement we can make is we can uh, sort of pull the ladder in. And then knock a few of these off. Yep, that works pretty good. And then our final little spot is just in here, so blast the door open. And hack that, and we're good. So, just a quick rerun. Uh, we start at the base of this tower. And grab the uh, terminal that we dropped down. Run to the jeep. Drive to this house, climb up a ladder, through a hole in the wall. Hack that. Go to the jeep again. Drive here, up the ladder, through the jungle. Up the tree, over the stream, into the tower. Jump down, cross the ladder cross the ladder, hop the gap, land on the other ladder, climb up the planks, hack that dish, jump to the bridge, up here, hack that, run back, in through the doors, and hack that. So we'll see how this goes. Basically, we, we have to get each one in 10 seconds on average. And then I don't think we really needed the jeep to get between these two, so that's alright. Come on. Go, go, go. Good. So that's half around 30 seconds. So, so far, so good. Ok, 
Okay. And 10 seconds for our final one. Eight, seven, six. Oh, we got this. Every single objective. <laughs> nice. So, just gotta get back to the escape vehicle. Nice. Yeah, so that's a pretty average episode time so far. 50 minutes. Okay. Oh, do I not level up anymore? That's interesting. Or do I level up once I get back to my base, because I can't get tools here? That would make more sense. Yeah, because it says now I'm a hot shot. Huh. Okay. Let's see. Tracy. Pictures. Wow, that place looks lovely. Here in Collington, it's all gray and slushy as usual. Make sure to enjoy your vacation. You deserve it. I actually got so envious, I ordered one of those Sunny Max solariums we've seen on TV. Hugs. Mom. Aww. Well... I guess we're not going to tell Mom we're not really on vacation. <laughs> Alright, and we'll do this next, this one in the next episode. Um, so, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you then. Later.